All right, so it finally finished up, and here's the glass that I was printing on. And this is just a piece of glass that I took out of a picture frame, and uh, I sprayed some good, very expensive hairspray on it, and that gives me a good um, um, adhesion to the bed for printing. Because one of the worst things that can happen is right in the middle of a print, the piece comes off loose from the bed and starts sliding around and then, then it's a uh, disaster. <clears throat> but when you print on glass, one of the cool things about that is when the glass cools down, the, the I don't know if you heard it just a minute ago, it went kind of starts coming loose and the piece or pieces just pop right off the glass typically and they don't have to be cut off says he <laughs> as it uh, starts becoming a little bit of an issue I heard that one. Right, it's coming. By the way, this is a um, train engine that is part of the um, the new 3D Maker on uh, Windows 10. Windows 10 just recently put out a uh, an app called uh, 3D Builder and part of the the uh, parts for 3D Builder uh, is this little train engine and so I just printed it out and that's how it came out and now I didn't print it out at the absolute highest resolution um, the highest resolution probably would have given me a little bit less uh, striations and stuff. But I kind of like being able to tell that it was 3D printed. So let's see how this works. It's supposed to snap on like that. And like that. And like Cool. <laughs> I'm so easily amused. So, I've been printing some other stuff. Um, I have been printing, um, working on a fully 3D printed um, model airplane. Uh, um, an RC model. Um, rail control. And I'm not really a radio control airplane kind of guy. Uh, never, never flown an RC model. Uh, never owned one. But uh, this is, you know, I just wanted to print it. So this is going to be, it's going to be a flying loon. And this is the, the uh, center of the fuselage. The wings are going to attach here and here. And this is the nose. And that's going to glue on. And this, this is the canopy. Canopy is going to have a magnet here and a magnet there. And it will latch right under there and the magnet will hold it, will hold it closed. So all the radio gear will go in here. I need to do a little bit more trim work on that to make sure that it fits correctly. And I'm not really happy with the way the the canopy printed out. I, I may have I may redo that. I, I did done the fuselage in black filament, and 
the wing sections are this uh, blue filament and I haven't gl haven't glued the wing sections together yet they're gonna they're gonna be something like this once they're all together and so that's going to be one one wing and then there's the uh, fuselage connected to that that wing so that's it's going to be so big um so i've got gonna have um, black fuselage clear canopy blue wings and then there are some black uh, wing winglets that go on the end it's gonna be kind of cool all right that's about it that's what's going on right now and i've done all of this by the way on this uh, a net a8 3d printer that i bought uh, right after christmas and i paid 179 dollars for it so having a great time and um, if you've ever thought about getting into 3d printing this is the one talk to you later